Okay, so let's get down to texturing the castle. And uh, the good thing is that uh, we we're using the same material. We're going to be using the same material for almost uh, for for most of these parts here. So they use the same brick type uh, for these walls, and maybe just a different texture for this here. We'll be adding the windows later, and maybe for this top uh, towers, we can just use these here. Let me turn off these. Uh, Shift D. Remember, you also need to select uh, the curve deformer if you're moving the object. So scale this up, then move this to around there. And uh, I think these have an ins always have an interest, so we can insert this. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. So now uh, you can add those uh, things there, but I won't be adding them because uh, nah, that's too much work. Just. <laughs> Inside this for a window and delete that face. And I think we can also add another window around here. Just to make this easy, I'm going to join these two. So, first apply the mirror on this array and then the curve and then join these as well. Uh, you see we're having some small thing issues so we need to go to uh, object data and then under normals turn on smooth shading. Uh, we can use this out the, uh, you know what, let's just use the mirror modifier mirror and uh, use this empty, I think it's empty to as our object, empty one as our mirror object. So let's position the camera a bit. I think we need an extra window on this side. So I just need to come in here, control D. Shift D, move it here, and then rotate that. You know what? I don't think I need this extra object here uh, because we can make the edits directly here. So, so make sure that uh, this goes all the way and inter intersects uh, with both walls. Otherwise, hmm. Let me make sure that uh, this object let's first go to object data turn this to textured okay I'm not sure why it's simply intersecting and not are making any connections uh, but I will come and fix that later. And so let's see, let's see what else, what was I doing? So we also need to add these back towers. So for that, again, we can duplicate these. Now we only need, we can duplicate this part, this uh, top part here. Shift D. Move them like that and scale that. I think because this is a, this is not a circle a corner, uh, we can go to the object, to the curve object, 
go to edit mode uh, hit V then convert these V convert the handle types to vector so we can have something like that and now we can rotate this 45 degrees to have something like that So you see this curve here, uh, this, let's see, fixed count, we need to reduce the count here. So if you want to remove this curve, this curve here, I uh, just need to select the curve object and uh, add a few subdivisions. And let's see if we add more. The more subdivisions you have, you can also move them closer to each other and uh, it should remove some of that carving. I don't know if there is a setting here that can uh, reduce that in the under curve. No, but uh, I think that's not that bad. The carving is not that bad and uh, we can add now a cube. <coughs> in here apply the rotation and scale you can bevel these control B and then select these edges select these faces delete them to have that so this will be like an entrance and uh, i guess we can add a loop around here uh, select these control b bevel them uh, control b bevel them but make them a bit wider and select these drag them up let me make sure this is recording good and uh, we can select these faces here delete those and delete those so someone can enter from here and then go outside like that and uh, so we can also add um, a solidify modifier to give uh, these walls th some thickness so just need to exclude like that uh, we don't need this down flow these bottom faces so we can just select them and delete faces we do need the top ones though so but uh, let's see even thickness uh, to make it even and then we can select this add another mirror modifier and then we need the mirror object to be empty one uh, do the same for this mirror empty one And uh, we have our castle. So I think in the next lesson we'll look at uh, the texturing bit of this. Thank you.